I was recently at the math exhibit Imaginary, and there was a puzzle that caught my eye. There's a circular table with seven lights arranged around it. Each light has a nearby button, but each button controls the three lights closest to it. So for example, when you press this button, those three lights turn on. Here are a couple more button presses to give you a feel for how this works. The goal is to turn on all the lights. So the way I solved this was by playing with it long enough until all the lights were on. And then I did it again by keeping track of every button press. And then I stared at the solution and realized that you don't need to play with the buttons at all. You can just use math. Pause the video if you want to give it a try. And you can periodically pause the video in the future as I tease out a solution. Let's get started on the math. There's three observations we're going to need. The first observation is that the order you press the buttons doesn't matter. Let's focus on a single light bulb, which is controlled by its three closest buttons. For the state of this bulb, only the number of total presses of the three buttons matters. The second observation is that pressing a button twice has no effect. So we only need to hit each button at most once. This is a consequence of the order not mattering. Because anytime you press a button twice, you can reorder so that you press them consecutively, which clearly has no effect. The third observation is that in the solution, each triple of buttons is pressed one or three times. This is because zero or two presses leaves the corresponding light off. And more than three presses requires pressing a single button twice, which is unnecessary. Okay, we're now ready for the solution. Using exclusively one press per triple would only work if seven were divisible by three, which it's not. So some triple has three presses. But now its neighboring triples already have two presses. And so we need to complete them with a third press to turn on the central light. Continuing in this way, all triples need to have three presses. So the solution is to hit every button exactly once. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the problem. I'll leave you with an animation of the solution and with three exercises that you can try yourself. Thanks for watching.